Good Our morning. Rosa, Robert Flores, and Lauren Shadi. Good morning. Good Honest morning. assessment. How have we done one weekend? Good. The show? Yeah. And it's been really good. Our show has been really good. I think people behind the scenes, especially everyone's new right now. There, we want to say something about this show because we're giving ourselves some love weekend. Keep their ears listening. I mean, we kind of get out in front of stuff. I remember last year, and I'm not picking on Glaber because I would love to see him succeed in New York. Why people we want pat ourselves show. on the back. I know. We're going to show we, you the highlights coming up. But you hit a game tying eighth inning home run. What do you get? My job. He's got to worry about himself being point. out on time before everyone, taking care of his pitching staff. Oh, by the way, I got a rake. I have a $115 million contract. He does everything right. And in the first six games of Yankees pinch runner extraordinaire. So, I mean, he has incredible athletic ability. Not saying, oh, he's a good athlete for a catcher. No, no, no. He's a good athlete, period. Mm, pretty darn cool. Oh, the wake-up call continues. Brewers and guns. That's the question for me in the I, Brewers. If he goes, yeah, with Lorenzo Cain having his day, I know Keston here is going to hit. Hopefully that position change to first base kind of clears his mind. Something I think about with Glaber Torres, right? Yeah. When you're playing at a position, you're so focused on defense and where I'm supposed That's a rough start. But I feel like Craig Council has big time weapons and you had a great idea you're killing anaheim tapes yesterday <laughs> I'm bored. and then she texts me last night she goes i feel like craig council when he grabs a lineup card is grabbing a swiss army knife council might be the two i'm council wondering if the smarter Brewers, than everybody depending on what the what happens with the season as we get closer to the deadline you got anthony rizzo going to the yankees you're out I mean, there's a lot going on but but watch we'll revisit this anthony rizzo will be oh there'll be Yankee? rumors there Who? will be rumors that's right if the cubs don't get get rolling this that sound bite can be used for awesome we are that's right it's about to get more awesome over the next two hours i have a treat for you oh boy you're coming at no something else what's one of the themes of this show Robert hates my music selection. That is true. If you're not aware at home, here's a sampling. But you don't. You can just judge. Just what judgey like wudgy it? was a bear. I would I'm like to uh, okay. apologize on behalf of Lauren that uh, subjecting you. Oh. Okay, now this works. Okay. Yeah, Mario taking guys, us a break. You all the Twitter haters at the I end like of this. the program. But the problem Wait, is, I, I don't know if it's a jukebox jam to get the people, and it definitely gets people going. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to the show, Kenny. Isn't it funny how you transform into what people think you are? Zach Wheeler, there's been hype for such a long time. Are we finally seeing what all the hype was about? I believe we are, and certainly if you... What he wants is early contact. He wants to get deep into games, and I talked to them. Have to, at some point, mature into that guy. I would play against the Phillies and Chase Utley if I was playing second. I'm like... I got to have a better game than Chase Utley tonight. You just make up little games within, within. Reality. Do you see, I mean, you were in clubhouses for 16 years. Is there a different mentality that some people have? It's so interesting Everybody when he talks about Everybody kind of knows exactly. where they fall in line. I think when it comes to a guy like. Big you remember Mal when they signed him, five years, 118 million. Hurt with the Giants, drive down to San Jose, get a few at-bats, Zach Wheeler's pitching versus Tyler Chatwood. What'd the you Angels. think? Wow. I was blown away by both of them. Chatwood was throwing yes. steam back then, too. And then we traded him for Carlos Beltran. Zach Wheeler went to the Mets. Beltran came out. And he's, it's, this is nice. It's nice to see. Five nice for 118. See. I think everybody in the industry is, they were, talk about, that was the one where it's like, you want, everyone, gets paid for what they've done. Yes. We were paying Zach for what we thought was going to And it was probably. analytically it was based, and people were questioning that, and certainly the way it looks now, good deal. Good. I wonder what Charlie Morton's mentality is from the looks from the outside. It seems like it's zen. I remember watching him watch the young Rays celebrate last postseason, almost as a dad figure. I was surprised when he left. What was behind it? Well, it's interesting, Lauren. He didn't want to leave. Mm. He lives in. We didn't know about the vaccines then, and that's kind of how it happened. Now, what's interesting to me about this is we know about the impact. Of this is what frustrates me about the game, though. Like, if I can have sense? my moment. Please. It's not like Charlie Morton was getting five of them. Mm. Well, that's true. They didn't know at the time, d that they were going to trade Snell. That was another thing. Now, what they yeah. could have done was picked up Morton. Tired. It it's is so tired. It is tired. That team, actually. And it wasn't so much more, to your point. Yeah, it's not a groundbreaking deal. Right. Charlie Morton's not, that's one phone call. Sure. Will you do 15? 
come on, let's roll. We what live a good a half guy hour. Too. Hey, Ken, a lot of attention on the shortstop market this offseason. I think Blue Jays and I think Twins and I think Phillies. How do they handle it? This was really interesting too, Lauren. So the Phillies wanted and involved in a way that they did not expect. And yeah. it so often happens in free agency. Things just turn and you got to so make a decision. Interesting. And come to, come to think of it, a lot of attention will be paid to the shortstop market this oh, offseason. Of wow. course, as well. I can't wait to see. What Robert, take there. it away. All right, guys, coming up, George Robert. Springer's. <laughs> we tell the truth. Bill, we <laughs> going home, going, especially at J.D. Martinez, it might. Naive enough to think this game's easy like that. Well, he, I mean, he goes to the yard every day now, and he's like, it better no, not think no, that. No, don't wake up. <laughs> don't wake up. Don't wake don't up. Wake Stay up. in there. I want it, because I knew you. I almost feel that that's what's kind of, not derailed him, but started him a little slow, because. Rio started his season exactly how he dreamt of doing so all offseason. Six no-hit innings, 12 strikeouts, and a win on opening day. It is take two, and Twins fans hoping for more of the same against Marco Gonzalez and the Mariners. It's the home opener in St. Louis between the Cardinals and the Brewers. The man, Adam Wainwright, sharing the mound with Corbin Burns, who took the loss, his first start. That doesn't at all tell the story. Struck out 11, completely dominant, 415 from Bush Stadium. And the Marlins and the Mets get the day started right here on MLB Network. The NL East is strong and deep, and it's Taiwan Walker's first chance to show Mets fans what he can do. After spending his age 27 season in Seattle and Toronto, Flushing Queens is his new home. An afternoon game from New York. Can't wait.